नमस्ते गुरु कुलियंस हाउ आर यू आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्थी फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द गुरुकुल नीलो खेड़ी एंड आई संजीव शर्मा वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू हैव एंड टुडे आई एम हैव टू टीच यू चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ दिस बुक हॉर्नबिल एच ओ आर एन बी आई एल एल क्लियर चैप्टर नंबर टू वी आर नॉट एफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी ऑल कैन बी टूगेदर रिटर्न बाई uh gordon cook and alan easter so here i'm going to start so i need your 100% concentration please pay attention to me right so so students this is chapter we are not afraid to die if we can all be together all be together written by gordon cook and alan east east right so this is chapter name we are not afraid to die if we can all be together students this is a motivational story and the title is very much significant i will explain you but before that let me tell you a little bit about mr gordon cook and alan east gordon cook and alan east both were friends uh, first of all let me tell you little bit about gordon cook he was born gordon cook he was born on 3rd december 1978 and he is having 41 or 42 years old age 41 41 point something clear it's 2020 going on so he was born in 1978 his age is 41.5 years old and uh, you can say that he is canadian olympic sailor canadian olympic sailor Do you know sailor? Sailor is the person <clears throat> who sails the boat in the sea. You might have seen so many ships. They are moving from one country to another country throughout uh, the oceans. Clear. One of the best examples is Titanic. If you have seen, uh, it was departed from England, Plymouth, and uh, uh, sorry, it was going from England and it was just uh, moving to towards America, but. unfortunately during its first voyage it was sunk in in the mid of atlantic ocean clear so the captain captain who was uh, uh, just moving the boat you can say that who was operating the boat uh, boat he was sailor in hindi translation navik right that is called sailor so he was canadian olympic sailor mr gordon cook clear and the second one mr allen east he was born in 1959 right and he was associated with gordon cook so gordon cook and alan east both of both were together uh, close friends and both of them they had decided in order to describe a motivational story in which they had described about a family clear there was a businessman 37 years old businessman he lived with his wife and two kids one son and one daughter right all of them they were living happily married life uh, after saving the expenditures after saving the money of nearby merely 6 7 and 8 years so the businessman he had decided himself to have a sea voyage v o y a g e voyage means sea journey clear if you are going from india to america through ocean that will that will be called voyage right so he was going on he had decided himself to pay a visit on sea voyage from england plymouth to across the world and he wanted to duplicate he wanted to copy mr cook 200 years back whatever he had done during his lifetime clear so that's why he had saved the savings of his years after years and after that he spent all of his savings in order to uh, make a boat and he had given the name to his new one boat wave walker 
W A V E W A L K E R. All the things are there in the book. Clear? So that's why I'm not writing over here. Whenever we are going to, going to read the book, so that's why I will write down over there. So please note it down simply. So he made a box. Bo sorry, made a boat, and it was the length of the boat was 23 meter long, and uh, it was very heavy to 20,000, 30,000 ton the weight was approximately the complete weight has not been described in the book but approximately I'm telling you normal weight okay so he had kept all the things the essential good water food clothes okay tables and he had hired the two uh, you can say that crewmen C R E W crew M E N men crewmen are those persons those usually help you out during your sea voyage Suppose if you are feeling any difficulty, if you are facing any trouble, any obstacles are coming in between. So these crewmen, they are experienced one. They can help you out in order to tackle the critical to critical situation. Clear? So two crewmen had been hired by uh, the businessman and his whole family, his wife, his kids, all of them, they started going to on a sea voyage. At first, <clears throat> for next, for first three and four days, approximately for one week, you can say that in short, the sea voyage was going normally. Nothing was there. The sun was shining in the sky. It was uh, rising from here, setting in that direction. Clear. The next day, again, it was coming from this way and setting in that direction. So all the things were going in a very good and fantabulous way. But unfortunately, uh, it was the winter timings. So they had... Uh, I'm sorry so it was a winter timing it was the end of December uh, they had celebrated Christmas on the board and uh, the it was a new indication of the new year just before two and three days before the new year <clears throat> they started facing the heavy gigantic gales gales means the wind the wind stormy wind started blowing over there and it was striking to the mass and the jib it was about to be fallen the condition of the boat sometime it going this way sometime going that way in this way in this way the boat was going on clear so the waves were coming up to <clears throat> 15 feet and it threw plenty of water into the sea sorry into the into the boat clear but at first uh, the ship was having the capacity to bear with the waves and the high gigantic way gales so it was protecting the family automatically itself but after two and three days when the condition was coming critical and most of the portion had completely been damaged then uh, the writer the narrator he himself he had decided to make a rescue operation over there so on 2nd January 2nd January when he had seen suddenly the speed of the wind it it came down over over so he started getting some relaxation but it was not there it was not the end of his trouble suddenly he started looking at the back side at the back side he started looking uh, it was just it was the indication of upcoming disaster it means the enormous black clouds they were approaching towards the boat okay and the clouds were looking so close towards the boat that one could touch the the clouds in such a way in this way okay and he got panic he got fear stricken and the rain started taking place the wind again started blowing okay sometime along with the waves as the waves were going up to 15 meter 20 meter 25 meter 30 meter high the ship was also going on the front portion of the ship was moving up to 15 feet then suddenly it came downwards in this way and when it was going upwards everybody started thinking that they were just uh, flying over the sky flying over the clouds okay everybody was thinking that their end his end was near but even then you know very well ki means a scholar has rightly said ki where there is a will there is a way if you have lost your willpower from inside once if you have surrendered before the death it means that you have completely been defeated but on the other hand my dear boys if you are having the capability to tackle the situation critical to critical so something will be there that god is coming to help you out because where, the, where uh, means if god helps those who help themselves so the narrator he decided himself to operate uh, the steering and he went over there and he was holding the steering and he had seen uh, on the dashboard of uh, you can say that means on the floor of the ship okay everywhere water was water and so many things they were floating on the surface of water clear the railings had been broken the pal it the mist had been coming down 
okay the jeep was not as much capable that it could take the boat towards the straightway clear so the screw men even they were trying their level best to help the narrator out because even their life was in danger he didn't know how his kids were he didn't know how what was the condition of his wife and suddenly uh, when the strong wave came suddenly he was misbalanced and he fell down into the water so he was striking to railing this way to that way when he checked himself that his mouth was filled with water some of the teeth had been broken his some ribs they were having some serious injury but even then he didn't care about his injury and uh, slowly slowly he he was staggering and his suddenly luckily his wife came in front of him his wife name was siu and she started asking what is your condition then he simply started he requested his wife to operate the steering and she came on the steering okay meanwhile he went uh, into the bunk where his children they had been sleeping over there when he entered into the bunk bu and k bunk actually my dear students it is the place especially uh, in the hostels maybe uh, you may be given some bed okay but in some of the hostels suppose if you are sleeping sleeping in this way other one is sleeping in that way other one is sleeping on upper way other one is sleeping upper way it is just like the position okay some boxes are being made in between so that is called bunk okay so <clears throat> when he entered into the space where the, his children had been sleeping over there he was surprised to find that his children they were sitting over the bunk and his daughter siu she was merely 7 or 8 years old and she was having a, a major injury on her forehead and her head was swollen and because of her uh, because of the injury of the forehead her eyes it had become very like a giant enormous eye she was having and the blackishness had been swept over the eyes but even then she knew very well suppose if she would if she distracted her father her father would never be able to do his rescue operation so that's why she consoled her father by telling him oh dear father i am okay no problem you please go forward and do your work whatever you are doing your rescue operation after listening these words and he got more confidence and uh, some you know we can means uh, determination and he just simply went on the on the board the board and there on the steering he met his wife and started helping her out and the crew men they were trying their level best and he called the crew men and in, in and started asking to check the water pump Uh, unfortunately the water pump okay in order to throw water the water pump actually we are having in the ship uh, especially for the critical situation such kind of situation whenever the waves they are throwing water inside the boat and uh, the level is coming very high in order to throw water out of the boat these pumps are used unfortunately the pump was blocked it was not working because the debris debris means kachra so many things uh, on the surface of the water in the dashboard on the dashboard things were like clothes were there okay food materials were there and some other things okay because of the debris the water pump had been blocked but luckily fortunately he was having another pump uh, in uh, in in bulk you can say that and he connected the pipe of the previous one pump to the uh, the new pump okay and uh, with the help of some electricity he was having with the battery and he started over there and luckily it started working and started throwing the water out of the ship clear he got some little bit relaxation then he asked his wife to give the duty especially on the steering in the rotation of uh, maybe 2 and 3 hours and then he took a compass the compass was not working and then he took a map and started finding uh, where the location actually there where they had been over there right he found the location ki that they were at a distance of nearby 100 km 150 km away from the two pin pricks p i n pin p r i c k s pin pricks means uh, it is just like that two simple dots p i n pin p r i c k s just like that uh, i mean I'm, i just want to make you understand suppose imagine this is the earth okay and if i make two dots inside the earth just like that what is the value of these two dots in front of the the big giant hall nothing so these two pin pricks means these two islands were there they were at a distance of 100 to 150 kilometers away from these two pin pricks these two pin pricked islands and one of the islands was given the name behind a scientist amsterdam and uh, he rotated the the way of the ship towards in a location where 
uh, it was uh, it was going towards Amsterdam. Okay, so he started telling his family and the crew man, suppose if we were we are lucky, then till evening the ship would be reaching towards these islands and we would be safe. And then he had taken his little bit meal and he went. So for taking some rest because for the last two days in continuity he had not taken the rest clear in the evening when his daughter and the son both of them they rushed towards their father and they started hugging the father by calling that you are the that the best daddies in the world and the narrator he started asking what actually he had done in this way then both of them they replied if oh dear father means that we are not afraid to die if we can all be together but remember one thing that you are the best daddy because you are able to find out these two pinpricks these two islands and we are safe and it is just in front of our eyes after looking this the miracle had been done automatically the narrator he came on the board and started looking in the direction with the binoculars he was having and he jumped happily yes actually he had got a victory over the death and after some time after half an hour one hour maybe one and a half hour approximately time has not been mentioned the ship it landed on the island and the next day 28 inhabitants of the island they helped the family and uh, after the process of nearby 15 to 20 days maybe one month approximately the family could be able to go back to their home safely okay and uh, Sue, the daughter, she had to go under the process of six or seven minor surgeries in order to uh, remove the blood clotting which took place because of the injury she was having on the ship. So the title significance is there. He, the, the son of uh, the narrator, he was nearly five or six years old and he said that, Papa, father, we are not afraid to die. If we can all be together, if you, mama, uh, sister me everybody the whole family is together then why to worry we are not afraid to die if we all can be together and because of the willpower of the family finally they had overcome the fear and they had defeated the death in order to find out the location and destiny had been found by them clear so this is the summarization in brief I had told all of you so now please open the book and we are going to start uh, word to by doing some word to word explanation little bit portion I will start today itself and rest of all we will doing in the next video clear this is the book then page number 13 right this is if uh, we are not afraid to die if we all can be together page number 13 right we are not afraid to die if we can all be together in July 1976 clear it was the month of July and the year was 1976 my wife Mary the narrator says he was a businessman clear my wife Mary M A R Y my son Jonathan John nickname is John the full name is Jonathan six years old age he had my daughter Suzanne his nick her nickname was Sue S U E my daughter Sue she was of seven years old and I means me my daughter my son and my wife four of us set sail from Plymouth England Plymouth it's a city in England which I had told you and they started going on sea voyage and sea journey from England to duplicate the round the world voyage made 200 years earlier by Captain James Cook Captain James Cook was there he was a famous captain approximately 200 years before clear suppose if it was a month it was a year 1976 so 100 years back 1876 more than 100 years back in 1876 it means me in the year of between 1870 to 1880 approximately there was a captain captain james cook he had enjoyed a safe and happy journey across the world they wanted to duplicate duplicate i mean to say they want to copy it clear duplicate means they want to copy they want to copy his sea voyage his same sea voyage whatever captain james cook he had done 200 years before the same sea voyage we want to do means my whole family would do i will do with my family members me my wife my son my daughter everybody will be going on sea voyage clear all of you good so for the longest time means I told you years after years 
they had been having this dream mary and i means my wife and i both of us and he had described ki his age was 37 years old and he was a successful businessman had dreamt of they were having the dream of sailing in the wake of the famous explorer and the for the past 16 years we had spent all our leisure time owning our seafaring skills in british waters means here he want wanted to convey here the writer wants to say that for the past 16 years they had been practicing themselves in british waters please pay attention here the word waters is coming w a t e r s basically after water s never comes but here waters is coming if s is coming after water it becomes international boarding of uh, during um, water line clear suppose between india and sri lanka only ocean is there right so this will be called international water so they had been exploring their sea voyage many exploring they uh, many sea voyage they had done already for the last 16 years in the international waters and they had been practicing because they just actually wanted to go on sea voyage on their own risk with the whole family because they just wanted to earn their name and fame like captain james cook who had done 200 years back his sailing across the world clear all of you so they had spent their leisure time whenever if you are getting your leisure timing maybe two hours three hours maybe suppose uh, one day two days you have got as an off clear 10 days if you're given off so 10 days out of 10 days they used to spend in order to practice themselves in international waters our boat wave walker a 23 meter means i told you the maximum amount which they had already saved in order to enjoy their sea journey so with the help of that money they purchased a boat a boat was constructed by them on order and the name was given to it wave walker clear it was 23 meter long right 23 meter long length was there right right and uh, the one the weight was 30 ton 30 ton was the weight and it was made of wooden hurled beauty made of wood completely it was beautiful boat had been professionally built the, the big professionals they had constructed the boat and it was tested under a great the great laboratories and we had spent months fitting it means maybe six months seven months it had already taken in order to make little bit portions uh, adjust uh, adjustment in between suppose this portion is left this portion is left in this way in this way so little bit uh, rectifications had been done renovations were going on for the last six months and testing it in the roughest weather we could find in the roughest weather in international waters they had already tested this wave walker this was one of the competent boats we have ever got in order to enjoy clear our bay oh, sorry the first leg of our planned three year one like five thousand kilometer journey passed pleasantly as we sailed down the west coast of africa to cape town means the journey journey of sea voyage had finally taken, taken place so the journey took place from the west coast africa to cape town in south africa clear the journey took place for one lakh five thousand one lakh five thousand kilometer in international waters it safely completed maybe in the panel of nearby one week approximately for six and seven days as i told you during summarization in the beginning for six six to seven days the journey was going pleasant the sun was shining it was setting the sun was shining it was setting the cool wind were blowing and they had been enjoying clear the family was uh, just enjoying the sea journey there before heading east we took on two crewmen means before going to east direction suppose we had been coming to west in this way and there we have to take a turn towards east direction clear so we hired the two crewmen c r e w crewmen as i have depicted crewmen these are professionalists okay crewmen are the professionalists they knew very well how to tackle the situation during the sea voyage how to control the boat so just as a help he hired they were paid companions and they hired he hired two crewmen uh, 
their names were American Larry Vigil. Underline these two names: American Larry Vigil and Swiss Hub Sizzler, to help us tackle one of the world's roughest seas. the sea in which they were going to sail this was considered one of the world's roughest seas the southern indian ocean clear southern s o u t h e r n southern indian ocean this was considered one of the roughest oceans in the world and they had been going to start their journey in this southern indian ocean where storms what the storm was just like a common thing for the uh, you know sea voyagers and they had to tackle a lot of critical situations and they were ready for that they knew very well ki means our wave walker and the crew men definitely they would help us out in order to tackle the critical situation clear and what happened after that i have already depicted but we will describe in the next part i think so till now you might have enjoyed the video so one more question i would like to ask all of you that please 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 kindly ask me your queries in the group uh, you are not sending your question answers otherwise i need to make a personal call to your parents to get your uh, you know report what um, whether you are studying at your home or not if you have seen my video that you would have to reply back to me otherwise i will make a personal call to all of your parents i hope that you have listened to me carefully till then take care have a nice day namaskar once again